Welcome back to High Tech Custom Concepts, everybody. This is Carl coming to you with some new products from KSG, Keltec. Keltec came out with the new KS7, and we finally got it in over here. We've been working on it and playing with it for a while, and I'm going to do a, a, like a brief overview really quick. Uh, specs on it, weight, what we came out with it, and like a little just comparison of what I think against the two, the KS7 and the KSG. So let me flip the camera around. And we'll get right to it, all right? Okay. We're, we're after hours over here in the shop. It's nice and quiet. My guys usually are working during the day. Okay, here's the box. Keltec, ready? And there is the new KS7. All right, we already been working on it, so this would have been the grab handle that goes on top. So they made it. Uh, they made a handle on top so you could grab it, and I wasn't too keen on that because. Uh, it makes it taller and I'm not too crazy about the optics. They had an optic on it They put one little yellow sight on it. I mean, it's okay, but you're limited to that So, you know, we're gonna come up with some extra rail options for this, but you can remove this There's two holes one over there and one in the front and luckily our extended precision top rail fits on the KS7 so let's go a little bit over the specs on this new shotgun from Keltec. So basically the KSG holds seven plus seven shells, uh, plus one in the chamber of two and three quarter. This one holds six plus one uh, with the three inch shells. So a little less capacity. Of course, it's only one tube. Um, the KSG weighs in at 6.9 pounds. This one weighs in at 5.9 pounds so you're saving one pound from the thin uh, from a double lower tube uh, feed tube to a single overall length is the same they're both barrel lengths 18 and a half inches 18 and a half inches overall length from front to back they're both the same 26.1 26.1 so overall the length and everything is the same uh, this thing will kick a little harder because of course it's a lighter gun and if it's lighter the recoil on the force is gonna roll right back to your shoulders. So we checked right away what can fit on this KSG and our brakes, problem was they were a little bit too close. You see how the, the lower tube, the spring tube cap was right almost on top of the front uh, nut remover. So we made a special tool to take off the, this this nut remover is different from the KSG. It's a special one. So it's available on our website to take it off we modified, we made a new uh, muzzle brake. The Howitzer 70, of course, is the uh, most powerful muzzle brake for the shotgun. This was, again, designed for the Howitzer cannons by the military, and we took that same design and applied it, and it works for the KSG. We've been selling them for years. It is by far our top seller, and, uh, and now we made it available for the KS7. We just finished it. So that's available. If you want a little bit uh, more of a streamlined uh, version, we have the, uh, the Defender muzzle brake, again, in steel, 416 stainless. We make it out of stainless because we don't want it to rust. This has a DLC chemical finish that the military uses for all of their equipment. So this is top of notch, state of the art, precision machines with the best finish available out there. No cheap steel carbon that can rust. Everything is 416 stainless. Now this one, is is in uh, 2024 and it's hard plate aluminum one most for most guys that's fine because this kind of weapon seven shells is most likely going to be used uh for a closet shotgun like um it's only got one single tube it's much thinner as you can see than the ksg because it only has one tube so it's a little lighter it's got a formed handle so you can't do much about that on the bottom no grips or anything we might look into trying to make something for that uh, we have a, when you remove this spring tube cap, you will see a little plastic, uh, follower that looks like it came out of a bum, uh, a gumball machine. I mean the really worst, cheapest cap I have ever seen. So this just simply unscrews and, and the spring comes out, just hold it when you're disassembling it. And then to get the nut remover, you have to take this off to take off the factory barrel nut with our tool. So you take this off. We're gonna have a new follower available in the high visibility orange that's gonna stick out in the back over here so we'll, we'll be able to see it inside of here really easily. 
and it's almost ready. Should be available in like two more weeks or so. And we'll sell it as a kit or if you want it individually, my target price I'm looking for is probably gonna be $19.95, reasonable price. But if you're gonna do this, you might as well do this because you're taking it out and that cheap plastic tube, I don't have confidence in it. So muzzle brake is definitely a must for this gun to reduce recoil. Precision top rail, if you want a standard like Picatinny rail that you could fit shell carriers on, we have the uh, seven shell and 14 shell carriers, so you will have extra shells on the fly. Recoil pad uh, buttstock that we have available on our website fits the same way. This is the wrap on, a wrap around cheek rest, the neoprene, soft, and it has the Velcro on the outside that we make. So you can stick on seven more shells here with the nylon, um, uh, here, let me grab one. This is our uh, daily inventory boxes. See, that this is the uh, seven shell card holder, the Velcro one. So this will attach to the other side. You know, you could put it on either side, whichever one you want. So you can have another seven in here, seven in the tube, and then you're good to go. So that's uh, a couple of the upgrades we have. We'll have a tab on our website for all of the KS7 upgrades as the, we come out with them. And my opinion uh, of this gun versus the KSG. It's a pound lighter, not hugely, uh, not a huge difference. Um, the KSG has definitely way more capacity. So for a guy who wants, uh, a, a, you know, anarchy, uh, you know, if all hell breaks loose and you need a tactical shotgun, I would go with the KSG. More capacity without doing anything, you know, just switching back and forth between the two tubes. You have 14, seven and seven, plus one if you preload it. Plus you could put extra shells on the top or on the nylon holder on the side. You have tons of capacity. This one is pretty much seven, maybe one in the chamber eight. This is good if you want to keep it in like a vehicle or uh, in your closet as like a nighttime shotgun and you don't want, you know, it's not going to be a, you know, workhorse. This is just an emergency only use gun. That might be okay because the price point is even better. This price point, this gun is $495. You might be able to get it cheaper in some local dealers. Um, the KSG is going to be a higher price point, $850, uh, you know, depending on what the local gun shops are selling them for. So you're definitely saving money over here but you have less capacity. Weight's a little lighter. Again, less capacity. So technically for me, I own both. <laughs> Why not? I mean, for the price, it's almost the price of some pistols. So you can have fun, keep one in, in your closet by uh, your safe in your, in your room, and you have your tactical workhorse, the, the double uh, shell holder one with your 14, 15 uh, capacity plus extras. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing other videos um, as I uh, do individual parts for this um, KS7, you know, but right now available, we have everything ready to go. This is available to ship immediately. The how to break, the, the Defender uh, Steel muzzle brake, precision rail, followers following soon, uh, cheek rest, you know, whatever you need for this one. So great overall uh, gun, you know, it's gonna recoil, it's gonna be a little bit more, but uh, you know, it's another uh, rendition to the KSG family of a slim down, little lighter KSG for that niche. You know, this is supposed to compete with the those uh, shotguns with no butt stocks. You know, just the handle shotguns, which I am not a fan a, fun, a fan of. You know, the Mossbergs and stuff because to hold that and aim is very difficult. I'd rather shoulder a weapon, have it this length, and you have no problems. All right, guys. Reporting back from the machine shop. Here's all of our accessories, extended barrels, uh, seven shell carriers. These are all the nut removers. This is the uh, four notch, six notch has the three that we use. This is for the NRs. These are all of the muzzle brakes prepped and waiting to go to, uh, we beat blast them or kind of like sandblast them. And then we send them off for black uh, hard coating. So guys, everything is made by us, Precision, right here in New York, high tech CNC machining. Here's some more of our, these are the top rails we make in the, uh, for the top shell carriers. Here's the brake that goes underneath, steel brake, to stop it from moving. 
We're doing a little move here. One of our CNC lathes, we're upgrading. We're getting rid of this, getting a, uh, a more uh, high production uh, machine. Here is our, here's our shell holders. We're making them. We're working on the back side. This is the first side before the groove is put in. This is after the groove. And then we, we, we deburr these, put them in the tumbler, and they're good to go. So guys, side clamps over here working on. This is again for the top shell carrier. We make these also for the uh, KSG, the shell carriers. We make them for the DP12. This is the bracket after it's finished with the black anodized, really good looking. This is all premium, top notch. We don't do anything halfway over here. And we're supporting jobs in America, making things in the USA. Guys, thank you for support. If you have any questions, you can email us at sales at hightechcc.com and uh, visit our website and check back often. I'll speak to you later. Thanks a lot.